to be a music producer. Follow these steps and you too can be like us. Step 1. Grab some instruments and start experimenting. Step 2. Now that you've given up on instruments, open up your very first digital audio workstation. Step 3. At this point, you are technically a producer, so tell everyone you know. Yeah, it was pretty hard for my family when Sprinkles passed away. Whole family came to town, burial. Yo! 30 plays! My SoundCloud's blowing up! Wait, I'm sorry, did I even tell you I'm a music producer? Yeah, I think you mentioned it. Okay, good. Wait, where's my vape? Step 4. Buy a MIDI keyboard. Remember, the more keys, the better the producer. Step 5. Build your own recording studio. I know you've been dying to see it, so welcome to the studio. You probably already noticed, but that's a 25 key MIDI. Sweet. Step six, soundproof your studio. So you've been eating nothing but eggs for three months? Yeah, my doctor says my cholesterol is dangerously high. <laughs> Whatever that means. Are you gonna finish that quiche? Nah, I'm pretty full from the omelets. <clears throat> Mmm, the frittata's done. Step 7. Learn producer jargon such as the following. Muddy, wet, bright, dry, peaking, lean, beat, draw, boxy, crispy, boomy, punchy, mustard on that beat. Step 8. Start promoting your work. Hey yo, what's good fam? Ow! Listen, I know I came around the corner a little hot. It's probably from all the heat coming off my beats. Ah! Yo! I dropped my vape! Bam! The vape! Step 9. Visit a professional recording studio. It may look intimidating at first, but you'll soon realize that the mixing board is a great place to rest your laptop. Step 10. Book your first recording session. Hey, uh, sorry I'm late, man. I brought a couple friends with me. Is it cool if they come in? Yeah, sure. All right, cool. Squad! Learn how to collaborate with artists. Hey, man, can you turn my headphones up? Yo, homie, can you EQ that? Can you turn my headphones up, like, a lot more? Ouch! Is there any way to uh, just make it sound a little more wavy? Can we just auto-tune this whole room? Is there, like, a lit button? Yo, wait. Who's paying for this? Step 12. Get used to people asking the question. Yo, homie. You know what all those buttons do? Yes. Word, word. Step 13. Learn how to deal with artist requests. Because I'm busy making guapamole. Yo, can you just make me sound like Drake? No, I can't just make you sound like Drake. You're not Drake. Can you make me sound like Future? <laughs> Sounds good, man. Pop a Xanax and we'll do another take. Step 14. Realize that no one wants to pay you. Sure. I could produce you guys. What are you paying? So we can't pay you in money per se, but we can pay you in... Exposure! Step 15. Add more sausage fattener. It's missing something. Did you try adding sausage fattener? Yeah. So add some more. I already added enough. Add more sausage fattener. Step 16. Get the credit you deserve by creating a producer tag. With the sauce. Step 17. You think you sound like this, but you probably sound like this. Step 18. Always use your buddy's car to listen to your final mix. Shoddy auxiliary cord! Sorry. Gotta listen to my mix. What do you think? Yeah, well, I mean, it's rough, I know, but I still gotta EQ the snares. Actually, I was gonna say I kinda like it. Oh, really? Yeah. Because it's the final mix. And finally, never leave the studio. Yo, bro, uh, how's the mix going? So, almost done? All right, man, just hit me up tomorrow. Nugget with the sauce. What did we miss? Leave a comment in the comment section below!